So the question is, is there an, how is the organizations affected by this intervention? Yeah. And, and what I could uh, statistically yeah. prove was that the comfort zone of the employees mm -hmm. uh, were enlarged by this intervention. Okay. Like the collision between the uh, employees' more rational, economic, effective uh, logic were then um, collided with the artist's more creative aspect or perspective on things. Mm -hmm. And this collision uh, in different um, grade they were um, developing the comfort zone of the employees, which means that they were more open to change, more open to new ways of addressing their challenges and needs in their businesses. Uh, but then it's, of course, up to the companies or the organization how to make use of that. Okay, but have you studied uh, some cross-cultural uh, issues of that? I mean, is it only for Nordic cultures? Or it works in uh, Central European cultures too? So that, uh, I, well, I haven't studied that. All the organizations were Swedish. Swedish. Yes, in a Swedish setting. And, and of course, there are differences uh, in how you relate between management and employees. But how could you could you explain the Swedish corporate culture, traditional mm -hmm. culture? Is it more like German or it's like uh, American? So or bit in between? Well, I think that uh, what is uh, a little special of the Nordic and Swedish way is that um, the employees are uh, more uh, participative and invited to participate. We are not so hierarchical. Okay. Uh, often, German culture is described as quite hierarchical. Like Russian. And probably, yeah. 